This white versus black right here in your fucking face right here. Fuck the NFL. Tally, tally, tally. Baby came home. Look who home, y'all. Look who home, y'all. Who you been? Who you who you been with? Who hey, come here, girl. I'm just playing. Come here. Might be home. Look, she bought more bags. More bags. Three days later. Ain't no freedom for the real, man. They got this girl over here acting like she live with me, man. She supposed to get up out of here. Yo. Got the dicks out here. Got the dicks. Yo. These girls be so broke. They trying to force they self in, man. You can't force your way in, man. You can't force your way in on a the goat. They trying to force their way in. Like, you can't force your way in on a goat. Got the police, man. Hollywood police say shit. Bro, I'm on social media. Bro, take that off. Bro, take bro. that off. Bro, throw the clothes outside, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Throw the clothes outside, bro. Go. Go, oh, bro. Go, bro. Go on, the, on the floor. Sir. Hey, sir. So you saying? She blocked at the gate. You gonna continue to bring her over here every day. This your second day her here. Damn, she she blocked at the gate. This is the first time I'm here. So this the I'm second not, time I'm these people was here, bro. Little boys, her clothes out So what about my car, though, bro? How could she leave with a car? No, 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 bro. Get the kids' clothes. There ain't no more, bro. Get them the f out of here. What you mean, bro? Get them the f out of here, bro. Hey, sir, what about the car she's driving? That's my car. Yes, sir, what you told me? Yes, what you told me? Oh, okay. Ain't no dimension. She don't stay here. She blocked by the gate. You keep letting her in. You keep bringing her in. But, 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 but the car goes. What? Yeah, yeah, get the f out of here. Hey, listen. listen. You police got to stop doing that. You can't be letting these people just come in on my privacy. She don't supposed to be here. Police don't help nobody, man. They the f police. Police about to get justice. They don't help no fucking body. The police. If you, if you listen to that video, not just watch it. The police officers, I believe it was in Hollywood, Florida. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. They showed incredible restraint. He was calling them the B word. He was calling them the N word. He was yelling at them. I mean, they turned their backs. They walked away. All they did was take the young lady and the kids into the cop car and they drove them off. They did not respond to him. They did not antagonize him. They did nothing. He was screaming at them and calling them all kinds of names. I want everyone out there to understand that the police officers at any given moment could have turned around and arrested him. You don't get to talk to police officers like that. They don't, you don't, you don't get to berate them and think that that's not a crime. You can actually get arrested for that. They could have arrested him. They did no such thing. They all walked away. They got into their cop cars and they drove off. And he was screaming all kinds of obscenities at them. In front of his kids. In front of his He seemed completely out of control. And again, understand this, ladies and gentlemen, it's a bad look. But for you yourself to put that on video for the world to see while you're supposedly trying to get back into the National Football League, how does that possibly help you? You forced your way out of Pittsburgh. You get in Oakland. And regardless of the stuff that was going on with the bad feet in, in France and everything else, you know, you ultimately go up to the general manager for the Oakland Raiders, Nick Mike Mayock. You lambaste him in front of his team. OK, you get yourself in trouble. You're supposed to meet with John Gruden for dinner. You stood him up. Drew Rosenhaus, I believe. I'm not sure, but I think it was Drew Rosenhaus. They got them on a three-way call. 
and they're talking. And at that particular moment in time, John Gruden reminds you, I don't want to let you go. I, we want you here. We traded for you. And at that particular moment in time, it is a Thursday evening, Max. All Antonio Brown has to do is be quiet. Shut up. Don't say a word. Until that Tuesday. And that Tuesday morning, his $29,125,000 left on his contract would have been guaranteed over the next two years. He couldn't shut up. He goes on social media. He gets let go by Oakland. He gets picked up by the New England Patriots. You are there for a week. Another allegation comes out about you, sexual assault allegation. Okay? The More Patriots the Patriots inform you, stay away from the person and stay off of social media. What does he do? He goes on social media attacking the girl. Okay? For everybody to see, which is when they let him go. Then he goes after Ben Roethlisberger, who, by the way, we all, including myself, owe an apology to, because, my God, we can't say a damn thing about Ben Roethlisberger after seeing what we've seen from him, Max, okay? He goes after Ben Roethlisberger, he goes after Robert Kraft, comes back, apologizes weeks later to Robert Kraft, and then decides to sit up there and attack people again. He's all over the place. You can't predict anything. You don't know what you're getting. And the one thing you do know is that you can't trust him because he's so addicted to that camera phone and so addicted to being on social media. You never know what he's going to say about you next. You got to stay away. I'm sorry to say it. The post, I really take the no pleasure to social media is the key, mm. and that tells you there's something wrong. Right. Because the reason you do that is because you think it shows you in a good light and the other party in which you're in a conflict with in the wrong. You know, it's like what he did with Juju Smith-Schuster, where he posted stuff that Juju had sent him that actually made Juju look good and sympathetic and made Antonio look like a jerk. There's an expression, read the room. He can't seem to read the room, except that the room he's in is a social media bubble of his own creation. And I think this actually gets into our politics a bit. Because when public figures and elected officials and leaders think that it's okay to do things, commit crimes even, and then live in a social media bubble of their own followers where they're the hero almost no matter what they do, it sets a bad example. And I think Antonio Brown, well, you might look at him as, as, as a public figure and a leader in this way, and so he's actually the perpetrator of that. But he's also probably getting messages, you know, like th that we all get, like, oh, this is how things are done now. Um, he can see the way our culture operates. If I have enough sympathizers in my little social media bubble who are going to enable me and make me feel like I'm always the good guy, then I can appeal to them. And then no matter what my behavior is, it's okay. And Stephen A., what that tells me is he's not well. He, or, or, You've been saying it for months. And he, he is under the impression that bad behavior will come across as good behavior and will somehow put him in a good light. There is no way. Even his claim, it seems to me, if you watch the video, his claim against his baby's mother is that she's a problem and she doesn't get to, to drive his Bentley and she has no way to get the kids to school. So that car is not for her and all this kind of thing. Well, first of all, the rest of us stop and look at that and say, whatever the case is, you're doing that in front of your kids who, by the way, apparently need to get to school. Right. And, and the reason that's fair game for even me to say right now, which I don't like saying, is he's broadcasting this. Exactly. He's, so, so everything about that, the posting it to video, even the, he's trying to exploit a racial angle. Look, this is how it happens. Again, to get sympathy, to get to, to the idea that the, the supposition there is that, that people will sympathize with him. This is not a sympathetic video for Antonio Brown, but he thinks it is. Something is wrong. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. You the sergeant. Okay. Nah, bro, you guys talk. This this car been looking for it for three, four weeks. I don't want you guys acting all fucking dumb. We talking like, man, let's be real. Okay. This girl came to take my kids to school. I let her access to get the clothes. Okay. She's coming out here still in the car. Ask her how she got here. I don't know how she got here. Okay. I have a question for you. What's yeah. your car gifted to her? Bro, this is my fucking car. Me, yeah, but you ain't listening. My I, car here. You ain't listening. You bro, and I'm telling you, this is my fucking car. No, she... now okay. she's here to take the kids bro she haven't been here for a whole month she okay. come here still in the car but it's not her car this car right to Tony brown you want me to show you it you guys already know that so why you wait why you talking to her said you need a moment because i'm frustrated right now I you guys been here for 50 minutes but, but you know we cannot communicate yeah, we, you, ain't, you ain't helping me there. What you helping me do? Well, we, we haven't left yet, have we? Yeah, you ain't done that yet, though, bro. You letting this girl walk. She's here stealing. She's got a victim here. She shouldn't be here. You understand yeah, that? You have the eviction papers? Yeah, I got the eviction papers. You want to see it? What would you want to do when I show you? Are you going to take her to jail, though? Can I, well, you allow her inside the house. No, I allow her to get the kids. Yeah, and then, okay. no, she came here with the kids. She, she came here with the kids. I want to see the eviction to see if there's any mention of the vehicle. There's no mention of the vehicle. That's what I'm telling you. Okay. She's here to take the kids to school, not no vehicle. This bitch is broke. She don't drop billies. You see this, sir? This is a fucking billy. That bitch is broke okay. with two more other kids. That bitch got none. She don't have no billy. She's standing at a hotel. Ask her where she's staying. Ask her. Okay. Well, that doesn't make a difference. Bro, she here with my fucking keys and you said you can't get my keys I, back. I didn't say that. All right, so get the keys. Well, so I'm asking you, do you got the keys? What could you do? I did not say that. I'm trying to decipher whether or not this vehicle was given to her as a Bro, this wasn't even about you. Let me explain to you. I'm going to listen this to vehicle, you. If she has any sort of proof that... Bro, she ain't got no vehicle. This is my fucking vehicle. I'm not listening to what you said. No, you ain't telling me the right thing. You ain't telling me the right thing. Well, I'm not telling you what you want to hear. No, you don't want to want to hear. This is my fucking vehicle. It's here. That's what I'm trying to and this bitch here. She came in to take the kids to school. The kids not getting to school. Okay. She don't have no car. This bitch is a baser. She have two other kids. She stay at a hotel. Look at her. She's a fucking lost cause. Look at her.
Look at her. Well, I'm nobody to judge, sir. Yeah, but sir, she's here taking my car. She came for the kids. This is not her vehicle. All right, fine. this vehicle is here. So she's trying to sell you on some bullshit. I'm yeah. telling you it's not. That's why I came here to talk to you. Yeah, because you ain't helping me out. It's been 40 minutes, no justice. Well, 40 I'm minutes, no here. justice. Don't I'm matter. Three minutes ago. Don't matter, bro. Ask these guys. These guys are here. They can tell you. She's here supposed to take the kids to school. She's trying to steal the vehicle. She shouldn't even be here. I let her in on the script of the kids. You want to see the messages? The kids not going to school. She's here trying to steal in the car. Okay. This bitch is a baser, bro. She can't take no car from me. Okay. She's she evicted. She shouldn't be here. Right. You guys should know that. Yes. Yes. She's trying to figure this out. Can you just let me and my officers figure this no, out? No, because it's been two weeks. Me. It's been two weeks. You guys never figured that out. Two weeks ago, I was not here. It don't matter, though, but you guys know. Exactly, you can't talk to me about that. I don't want to talk to you guys about it either. She's right now. It's my car. She's evicted. She shouldn't be here. The kids supposed to went to school. She's trying to steal a vehicle. That's the situation. She didn't want to get the kids to school? Just Bro, she came to get the kids clothes. I don't know what this bitch is doing. I'm trying to find out myself. Right now, she's got my keys, sir, and this is my car. She's not taking this car. And that's what you care about. No, I just care. She get the fuck out of here. She's a victim. She's illegally stealing my car. Did you apply last night? There was a report uh, for restraining order. Yes or no? We just did that, bro. It's illegal. Should she be here? It's trespassing. We did file it. I did file a report. I didn't follow through with the judge, but it okay. is a restraining order. Okay. Okay. Take her to fucking jail. Yeah, it is. Take her to jail. Yeah, take that bitch to jail, man. Get her ass in the car. This bitch is a baser. Nigga, standing the police about a bitch stealing from me. Ain't no justice for a nigga out here, bro. Rich, everything. Your child's room. You wanna stay here? These niggas gotta make calls for niggas to get justice. The police can't even know what to do. They gotta call. You feel me? Call the niggas. We gotta go to jail. This is what we gotta do. This is white versus black right here in your fucking face right here. Fuck the NFL. These niggas gotta make calls for niggas to get justice. The police can't even know what to do. They gotta call, you feel me? Call the niggas. We gotta go to jail. This is what we gotta do. This is white versus black right here in your fucking face right here. Fuck the NFL. This is real life. White people trying to get over. Racers and the police not helping. Trying to finesse a Billy. Bitch, you don't drive Billy. This is not your life. You don't drive Billy, Chelsea. I love you, Poppy. You got your kids, baby. Figure it out. Don't be over here trying to cope with the math. Fucking police got me out here with the kids. Look, this guy can't even fucking do a job. He got to call him more fucking thing. Chelsea, you look like a fucking fish. Fucking fish out of water. Bitch, look dead. Look at her. Where are your other two kids? Look at her. Chelsea, you look like a fucking fish. <laughs> that was so funny, dog. Yeah, this shit real. Uh, Chelsea, you look like a fucking fish out of water. Fucking baser. Chelsea, where the fuck your mom and dad or your other kids at, Chelsea? Fucking bitch trying to steal a fucking... I was wrong. Like with myself, they were like, "Yeah, Floyd gonna end up with nothing." I made smart investments. That's why, right now, with this huge academic, I mean, uh, with this, with this, with this, with, with this, with, with this huge shit that's going on, all this crazy stuff that's going on, my investments are still paying off. And it's this is not about. This is not about throwing this in nobody's face or showing out. This is saying that I'm glad when, while it's a recession, I can still feed my loved ones. So even like when, when you showing your 60,000, you letting the world know I can still feed my wife. I can still feed my children. And you got to let them know. Even like with what's going on with me, tough times don't last. Tough people do. So Andrew Jackson, of course, is on the 20. Benjamin Franklin right here. You know, money man. 2000 on there. Let me make sure you get on there, man. <laughs> Shout out to everybody tuning in. Let me see what I need to do. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'm on hold right now. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. But I had, you put a swipe to Swipe right? I'm gonna hold right now, 60 band on the line. Tap the top left of the screen. Top left? Yeah. Right here? Let me see how to get money on here, man. Swipe it or tap it on. You tap it? Tap top left. Okay, let me see. Now I'm in there. Let me see uh, Money May in there. Yeah. Money May, where you at, baby? 
Me, uh, let me get money mail on the line. Tap live at the bottom of the screen. Let me see. Let me see uh, if, we get, uh, if we could go from his other page. Tell money may add it from his other page, man. I need to see the legend, man. I'm on hold. I got a lot of problems. I need to see the legend. Tell money may add it from his other page, man. I need to see the legend. Tell money may which page you come up for. I'm ready. Whichever page it is, we need them on the line right now. Right now, the whole world need motivation. It's an epidemic in the world. We just need money made on the line. I know we only got 60 bands on the line, and that's like enough to probably get them on for three minutes. But we need to get the we need to get the champion on. Let me see. Hey, money may add me on, baby. Let me see a money may coming in the chat. Let me see TMT. TMT, let me see. TMT. Oh, there you go, right there. Successful. Money May, pick up, baby. Pick up, Money May. Let me, let me see how my guy picking up, man. Maybe we need to go from TMT page. Yeah, I'm on hold right now, you know. Waiting on Money May. Money May say he here, man. I got to add him. Hit the add, Money May. Money May say here, man. Let me hit the ad one more time to get Money May in here, man. Let me, let me, let me add him right now, man. <coughs> Money May, hit the button, baby. Come on, baby, hit the button. We got to get Money May in here, man. I ain't leaving till y'all see the goat. I see him right here, but we got... Boom. It's successfully sent. Yeah, I'm on hold. I know we need to get it up to 100. I'm working to get it up to 100,000. I need May un Money Mayweather on the line. He said, request Money Mayweather coming. I know I only got 60 racks on hand. It's usually 100,000 to get to his direct line, but it's coming. Trust me. Stay. Where Money May at? Are you at him? I got to add the legend, man. Add the legend. What did it say? He would crush you, get, get, get. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. How you go to it? Oh, there you go, right there. The camera ain't going to go Let me see. I can't restart it. Man, I got Money Mayweather on hold right now. You got to get Money Mayweather on. Add Money May. Add Money May. See. Okay, let me do it again. I need money made to pick up. You know, there's only 60 bands on the line. You know, I usually got to have 100K to call a goat. Let me see if I can get off another page. They saying restart it. <coughs> but I feel like money made in here. <laughs> That's funny. Let me see if I got TMT in here. Let me see if I'm here. <laughs> Live from TMT page. TMT in here. Where you at, money? 60, 60 bands on hold. Shout out to money made, man. In nobody's face or showing up. This is saying that I'm glad when, while it's a recession, I can still feed my loved ones. So even like when, when you showing your 60,000, you letting the world know, I can still feed my wife. I can still feed my children. And you got to let them know, even like with what's going on with me. Tough times don't last. Tough people do. So Andrew Jackson, of course, 
is on the 20. Benjamin Franklin right here. You know, money man. Tell it, tell it, tell it. logo looks exactly like the tail of a helicopter pointed oh my god down say that again. say that again so the 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 kobe logo that you said looks like baphomet and it totally does just like jennifer lopez's dress was baphomet kobe's logo that symbol also looks exactly like I've shown you this, I've shown XG, like the tail of a helicopter pointed down. You see, that which you just said, my friend, was so powerful. It was transformational, okay? Because Kobe Bryant got himself into, he was in way over his head. All of this is interconnected with the coronavirus. It's going to blow your mind tonight. Oh, so then the oh. The Blue Seeker Society, the Black Listers and Betrayers of History. And, my, and mind you, the acronym for the coronavirus is COVID, capital C-O-V-I-D, which is interpreted mm -hmm. from Hebrew to English as the word Kobe. I kid you Did not. You hear so that, I'm, 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 I am Kobe. going to come back to that in a few moments. Here. So then. As we talk about the history of the Boulé Sicker Society, the, they are the blacklisters, um, Brother Sam, and the betrayers of history. It goes all the way back to the city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, um, the hometown of Kobe Bean Bryant. Now, Boulé, the term Boulé has a gematria uh, mathematical uh, sequence of the number 55. The term Sigma Pi 5 has a mathematical sequence of 55 because sigma is the 18th letter of the greek alphabet pi 16th letter and phi is 21st letter 18 plus 16 plus 21 equals there's your 55. sigma means and this is powerful here it means to summon or to conjure a spirit pi means uh osmotic hypnotic pressure and phi means on a plane. That's interesting. So sigma pi phi simply means to conjure or to summon a spirit oh my through God. a hypnotic solution on a plane. Physically, what happened to Kobe? So then, oh my uh, God! Uh, oh, to summon a spirit through hypnotic solution on a plane that plane came down it wasn't because of the fog or the wind the day before kobe died when lebron in uh philadelphia okay the same city that kobe bryant was born in the same city okay and mind you kobe listen lebron james would never be a kobe bryant never as far as basketball as far as personality never okay so then kobe is my uh, my insight as a historian, as a researcher, that Kobe, uh, that uh, LeBron James knew that Kobe Bryant was going to die, okay? The night before, when uh, LeBron passed Kobe for on third place for the all-time, on the all-time scoring list, okay? Kobe had over 33,000 points. There's your 33. LeBron James has over 33,600 points. There's your 33, okay? So then, uh, LeBron knew, and let me tell you who else knew, Dwayne Wade. 
Brother so, Larry, are you serious? You look at DeWade Wade. Uh, to your listeners, just uh -huh. if you get an opportunity, type in Dwayne Wade says that he grew up a little ignorant of LGBTQ. Again, Dwayne Wade says that he grew up a little ignorant of G LGBTQ communities. And it shows that he has these braids of multiple pyramids yes, on his head. Yes, dude. Johnny, you were now, talking about this on, the other day. That's on business. Yeah, yeah, that's right on here. businessinsider.com. Those pyramids are the exact pedophilia symbols yeah. that was put up by the FBI two yeah. years ago that was declassified. And you can just look up uh, the declassified pedophilia symbols by, by the FBI. And those miniature pyramid um, braids around the head of Dwayne Wade, you see he's been broke, broken, is connected to the pedophilia uh, secret society. Why did he have his braids um, in the form of pedophilia symbols? He's been buck broken. And I guarantee you, since Kobe died, give it a year or two, you're going to see Dwayne Wade rise. You watch and see. He's Look at his son He's already doing there. it. Dude, what about yeah. that movie that just came out? You're like, why is... And I said this, Brother Larry. I go, I go Dwayne Wade's going to be a very interesting story because... I've heard, you know, I, I've worked in the hospitality business in the past. I heard whispers that, like, Dwayne Wade was a crazy person. Like, you know, like, he would just thrash hotel rooms. I'm like, because, you know, I saw the fall of Michael Vick, and I go, once they realized Michael Vick was never going to be that superstar, Super Bowl quarterback, all the sponsors went away, all the handlers and all the people who cleaned up all the mess went away. I go, that's going to happen with Dwayne Wade, but... Unless he does what he's doing right now, and that is like selling himself out in that way. Yeah. And now, why all of a sudden is Dwayne Wade everywhere? Why is he in these commercials? Why is he have this movie coming out? It's synchronized. When you talk about, again, the Boulé Secret Society, Secret Society, they are the blacklisters. They are the betrayers. And not just black America. They are the betrayers of America, period. Kobe had that moment with the rape trial, right? Yep. But after that, we've never seen Kobe do any drag stuff that seems to be uh, put it, busted for any weird kind of uh, sexual stuff outside, the obviously, the sexual assault, which, you know, some people say didn't happen. The, the police report says different, but uh, that's not really debated right now. But outside of that... We haven't really seen anything out, uh, about that. So, you know, pa so basically Kobe passed away tragically. Uh, super sad for Los Angeles for basketball. The 2003 rape um, accusation yeah, against yeah, Kobe yeah. Bryant. Yes. Kobe Bryant goes to uh, Edwards, Colorado to get some work done on his knee. Now, this is getting really deep now. So then he is instructed to go to a knee doctor by the name of Dr. Richard Stedman. Dr. Richard Stedman is Phi Beta Kappa. Dr. Stedman is a part of the Phi Beta Kappa deep state, which is the deep state arm of education and the legal faction of the deep state. So Richard, Richard Stedman is Phi Beta Kappa. And instead of Kobe staying near the doctor's office, near a local hotel he's instructed by dr richard stedman to go some miles away to eagle colorado to stay at the lodge and spa cordelia hotel oh there come on colorado. dude he's sent there so kobe goes there july 2003 and he sees this young woman okay caitlin favor her parents are Phi Beta Kappa, okay? Now, Kate, it's not by accident that she's there at the front desk, and she's offering Kobe a tour of the hotel. That's not her job, uh, Sam. So she takes him on a tour. Then Kobe invites her to the room. One thing leads to another, okay? Then she doesn't call the police or the sheriff, okay? And mind you, to your listeners... 
Hello? Hello? Oh, come on, you were just cooking with gas! So Phi Beta Kappa is the educational and the legal faction of the deep state. Kappa Beta Phi is the Wall Street faction. And remember this name, Jeffrey Steibel. I'm going to bring him up in about 10 minutes. He's connected to Kobe. So then, Kobe's arrested a year later. Uh, he gets off. And from that point, he begins to tattoo himself. He begins to get into the dark arts. The, he, so then he becomes a Luciferian project uh, that will be completed on the 26th of January, 2020. Two days, gentlemen, we're talking about the Boulay Seeker Society, the Black Listers and Betrayers of History. Two days before Kobe's death, the Brian Steibel venture capital firm out of Hollywood that he created, along with Jeffrey Steibel. Yes! Okay, Jeffrey Steibel knew not only Harvey Weinstein, and he knows Harvey Weinstein, but Jeffrey Steibel knew Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein was on the board of, of Kobe's Blind Bolt Foundation. You see, this Jeffrey Steibel, let me tell you about him. He, he has a ghost of the past. Who introduced Kobe to this man? Jeff Steibel, okay, and not to get ahead of myself, Jeff Steibel uh, is a board member of the Clinton Foundation, the Clinton Global Initiative. Kobe spoke for Bill Clinton in January of 2014 on the behest of the Aspen Institute. The Aspen Institute, which houses some of the most powerful people on this earth, it is a CIA think tank. Who is Jeffrey Steibel? Who is he? Uh, either this is dramatic pause or else we lost him again. Or are we getting too close? Who is Jeffrey Steibel? Global controls will have to be imposed. And a world governing body will be created to enforce them. Welcome to Tinfoil Hat. We, 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 we go deep, homeboy. Eric, open your mind. 